Uh, it's a, a an opinion piece by John Honeyball in uh, PC Pro, which is a, a tech magazine, uh, based on his visits to the CES, Consumer Electronics Show, in uh, Las Vegas, and also something called NAB. And what he's, what he's saying is that the, the people who make movies, um, instead of just using green screens, they're going to make complete sets, artificial sets, that is, it's a bit like artificial reality, but or augmented reality, but on a much grander scale. So th this NAB event I've not heard of before, but it's um, on a grander scale than, than the CES show. The CES show I, I, I do follow because it, it happens just before BET and a lot of the things which turn up there are, are then sort of interpreted for education and turn up later. Well like this um, Philips Bluetooth uh, device we've got plugged into this desk uh, that one started out as consumer electronics and with um, with with John and Chris, we, we 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 did a lot of investigation trying to find out how we were going to connect the phone into the desk, and uh, it was it was JD who worked out it it uh, could be done through consumer devices. Uh, so I think what what I'm going to do is just try and follow this um, John Honeyball commentary. He he writes some technical bits as well inside. This is uh, the J July, allegedly the July one. Uh, it's number 345. Um, but where I think it might might be helpful is um, we I, we have been to shows. We went to the we went to the Bet Show, which is for schools, and also. I went to the Learning Technologies show, which I'm I'm still sorting out the bits and pieces from that. But both of both of those were um, at Excel, which is in East London, um, opposite Greenwich, and it's on the Elizabeth Line now, so it's quite easy to get to. But the the River Lee is very disappointing when you get to the bottom end of it, where it joins the Thames. It's it's not a proper walk at all. Uh, it's it's got roads going across it, railways going across it. Uh, you can't walk along the side of it. Um, compared to what we've got in Exeter, it's um, it's not not what you would expect really. But I've I've decided that maybe this can be fixed with um, a sufficiently large set based on whatever technology is going to come out of the NAB and the uh, any the um, Consumer Electronics Show. Um, so I'm just trying to look, look more in the article. I'll, I'll try and find a bit more from this article for, for tomorrow. But um, it, at the bottom end it's called Bow Creek. So I'm a bit, uh, more or less from Bow... What you could do is um, get a taxi with a helmet that would uh, take you from some spot on the River Lee where you can still walk it and take you down to County Hall or somewhere close to Excel where you can walk along the side of the dock so you're back to a waterside uh, route. And um, this helmet would also relate to a set that could be used for video or presentations or some sort of artificial world and if that does work we could try the same thing with the pin brook which is w what I definitely want to talk to John about um, because the the pin comes down through through pin ho and then it goes down towards the clist but it's not done in a way that you can follow it. You can't walk all the way along it, I don't think. Um, but maybe you could have a helmet that covered the gaps. 
Um, I'm not sure that you could, a taxi could get you to all the places. You might have to walk the different places, but it's probably a safer sort of space anyway. Um, I don't know. Anyway, that's 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 what I'm what I'm thinking about, and we'll 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 come back to that. <laughs> 